check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. So Dom's playing video games backstage and Liv says, listen, we got to practice some double team moves. And he says, I don't want to work on double team moves. She says, you got to relax and loosen up. And he's like backing up and he trips on a couch and she starts stretching his hamstring. And he goes, actually, that feels pretty good. And so Priest and the Judgment Day, of course, right then they step into the room and she leaves and... Man, that whole deal of... Uh... Getting caught by your parents. I think McAfee even said that. Yeah. And actually, Dom as well. He goes, you're starting to sound like my dad. Yeah. And Priest says... Uh, I wonder if, wonder, if Dom, wonder, if, wonder if Ray broke in when he was doing that in high school. Well, I don't know, but he had flashbacks here. And Dom vows he's going to go put an end to it right now. So he leaves, and Finn then says, hey, you wanted to tell something, Priest. What do you want to tell us? And Priest says, I'm going to keep it to myself. And Dom is going to find out for himself, too. Yeah. He threw this guy under the bus by not telling him. Yeah. So we got another VHS tape. It's more therapy with Bo and Uncle Howdy. And uh, anyway. What are they going to do? I'm not sure, but you know what? The, I mean, it's, it's super over, but I just like, what, what are they going to do? Well, they're going like, to have to do matches what, at some point. That's what I mean. It's like, what are they going to do like with, um, you know, like uh, Dexter Loomis and people like that? They're going to wrestle. But... but does it just won't like like kill it? Uh, probably. Yeah. I mean that's the problem. But I mean, anyway, saw... yeah. Gable then meets with Pierce, and he goes, "That tape, they're talking about me." And Pierce says, "Listen, I've I've had tons of security here, and you know what? The fact of the matter is, if you think they're talking about you, why don't you think about why they're talking about you?" And Gable's all angry, and he goes, "I'll take care of this myself, like I always have to do. And then after I take care of this, I'm gonna take a vacation." So he leaves. Pierce goes to walk into his office, and there's Bo Dallas. Yeah. So maybe they're going to be in the ring sooner rather than later. Well, I can see him in the ring and playing like a monster, but they can't all be monsters. I mean, I guess that maybe they could. Well, they know. are going to all be monsters, yeah. That, but how do you, how do you, like, like, how many times can they wrestle Tozawa? Well, I don't know what they're going to do, dude, but. I mean, they're gonna, are they going to massacre, like, Sami Zayn and Bronson Reed and. All those guys. I don't I know mean, if they'll they'll go that high up the ladder yet, but you know, I mean, like, because obviously they they ain't, they ain't going to be doing that monster stuff with Punk and Drew McIntyre. Highly unlikely, as Gorilla you know. Monsoon would say. Yeah. Damage Control does a promo. They say they're taking back control tonight. And man, then we had Braun Breaker and Ilya Dragunov. And quite frankly, like of all the matches they've had, most this all the, of them have been this, better. This was the weakest one, and yeah. also and also total shit finish. It was a horrible finish. Yeah. So they're you know they they worked hard and it was it's they can't have a bad match because it's Ilya yeah, it Dragunov and Braun, yeah. but ended up with Ilya going for a torpedo outside and Braun just grabs one of the big roll chairs and he throws it right at his head for a DQ, and so Braun starts beating him after the match. Sammy holding his ribs runs down to clear the ring, so Braun drags him outside. He posts him. He throws him over the announce table. Dragunov jumps Braun. Braun beats his ass at well. So I was just watching this thinking, they went out of their way to, like, make up for beating him the night before. Yeah, they sure did. Probably would have been easier to just not beat him the night before. I mean, that would have been the simple solution. But I, they I worked very have. hard to try to get him over again. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have yesterday. done it, but they, they were doing the story, almost exactly like I said. They were doing the story of, like, you have to pay your dues. You can't just walk in here and win a championship. You know, there are a lot of people that have walked in and won a championship and it's been effective. There's a lot of people who have, have drawn a lot, a lot, a lot of gates and stuff and been super successful um, from, from going into a place and uh, being pushed from the start all the way to the top yes. without, without having to lose matches on television to prove that you're worthy or whatever the story is. Um, and he, you know... Again, it ain't going to kill him. You can do whatever you want, especially right now with WWE where you're pretty much, you know, the crowd's so easy on everything. So, I mean, which is great. Everybody wants a crowd like that. But the, um, you know, the whole deal is, is that, uh, yeah, I, I I, think that, he, you know, I mean, I wouldn't have beat him. That's all. Not, not. I mean, at some point you would beat him, but not with Sami Zayn and not this early in the run. Priest did a promo backstage and he said, you know what, I heard the talk. But what champion hasn't had controversy or interference surrounding their title reign? All of them have. Now I need to look to the future and Gunther. 
And I'm walking in as champ at SummerSlam, walking out as champ. If Gunther shows up next week and can say anything he wants to my face. So we're having a confrontation next week. Yeah. Yeah. Karrion Cross did a promo. He threatened, of all people, John Cena. So I guess he's on the list. And then he said that Woods... Why, why not? Why not? It's just an easy sacrifice, right? Yeah. He said Woods beat him and Kofi could not. Follow me, Woods, and you can complete your legacy or go back with Kofi. I'll hospitalize him or you like I did to him. Yes, New Day is dead and everybody knows it except you two. Yeah, so the, so the deal is just that Kofi's doing an injury angle for a couple weeks. We had Caden Katana and Lyra versus Damage Control. And uh, everybody hit a big move at the end. It's a good match. Kyrie's foot actually near the end. She went for uh, uh, EO launched her over the top, kind of into a double cross body, but her foot got caught on the ropes. Man, she came down right on her face. But she got right back up, seemed to be fine. EO hit the moonsault on Caden, got the pin. And so damage control, they get this big win. Heels. And then they get attacked also by heels. Mm -hmm. Sonya, Shayna, and Zoe attacked them, and not Caden, Katana, and Lyra. And so, they stomped so, him down and beat him up. So maybe was, damage control is going babyface. Oh, the, the, I mean, as far as in this feud, they were clearly the babyface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're going to be baby face, at least in this in this program with them. Yeah. Zelina and Ray are backstage doing a promo, and then we had Shayna, Zoe, and Sonya doing a promo, and they basically said, you know, we keep getting screwed by people who can't lace our boots. Saying uh, Shayna, uh, Sonya wants to show Shayna and Zoe their full potential. So just a warning shot to the entire division. And then Albin and Isla showed up and laughed at them as challengers. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to end up good for them. I don't know, man. Alba and, Alba and, Iva have, and, and Isla Dawn have them as challengers and Bianca Belair and Cargill as challengers. Um, I don't know how long they are for this world as, as champions. We had a Gunther video package. And, like, for people that only watch main roster WWE... They probably watched this and went, oh, my God, he was gigantic. He has lost so much weight. And oh, yeah. if you've watched him for years, I mean, you'd know it. But if you've only seen him on the main roster, it's probably a very eye-opening video package of what kind of shape he's got himself into. And then we had Liv and Dom versus Ray and Zelina. They did a spot early where Ray gave Dom a drop toe hold. Dom fell face first in a Liv's crotch. And so he bails outside. He gets wiped out. So he got the heat on Ray. Came back. Everybody does their big comeback and everything. And then finally, Ray hits the frog splash. Liv breaks it up. Zelina hits a 619 on Liv, but Liv posts her on the outside. Ray goes up top, but Liv crotches him. And then Dom hits the frog splash. And for the first time ever, he pinned his father. They made, they made that point. WWE matches. First ever win over Ray Mysterio. Yeah. So Dom is so excited afterwards, and she... They go to hug each other, actually, and then Dom pushes her away. And so she jumps into his arms, and they fall on the mat, and she grabs his neck, and they're about to kiss. And all of a sudden, they hit Rhea Ripley's music. And the look on Liv's face and the look on Dom's face, they were great. Yeah. And Liv sees Rhea storming to the ring, and she runs for her life through the crowd. And Dom is like, oh, man. And she gets in the ring, and she starts chewing him out, and he's got his head down. And the and show ends with him looking up, and he goes for the big hug, and they... She shoves, she shoves him off. She starts walking past, and they cut away. This was a great return, and That's it was great. an awesome cliffhanger. It was a great cliffhanger. Because yeah, you great. cannot wait to see what's yeah. going to happen on next week's show. Yeah, you definitely want to see next week uh, for the follow-up from this, yeah. 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 So, yeah, I thought it's, it was a... Uh, the, the whole angle's been a great angle. It I has mean, been, been a great angle. You know what they're really good at? And I got to give them credit for this, because it's actually one of my complaints about AEW, is, you know, they'll be in the middle of a program in AEW, and somebody will get hurt, and the program is done. Yeah. I mean, it's completely dropped. It's just finished. And then, you know, we I even asked Tony about it. I was like, you know... And he goes, well, you know, sometimes when the person comes back, we continue. Sometimes we don't or whatever. But if you look at, like, Rhea Ripley's injury, CM Punk's injury, yeah. I mean, they just have kept, they found ways to keep the storyline alive mm -hmm. while these people are unable to come to work mm -hmm. or at least do matches. So they've done a great job with CM Punk and Drew, and they've done a great job with Rhea Ripley being gone this whole time. And 
Yeah. yeah. See, CM Punk and, and, and Drew has been, like, really a phenomenal feud. Yeah. When you when you consider that they haven't had a match yet and can't, ha- and can't have a match. You know, it's like they took that thing. And, I mean, they weren't even going in that direction. It was going to be Seth Rollins and, and uh, CM Punk, and Drew was going to be in, in some other direction. Yeah. And then, the you know, because he got injured from a spot by Drew McIntyre, it just changed everything, and they went with that. And and all credit to Drew McIntyre, you know, at the start. I mean, he just put everything into it and uh, created the situation. I mean, CM Punk owes CM Punk owes him some uh, steak dinners, I think, or at least some some uh, donuts or something because the muffins, muffins. Because man, Drew McIntyre, like I don't. I mean, people weren't going to forget him, and it wasn't going to be anything like that. But boy, did Drew McIntyre make him stay hot while he was unable to wrestle thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again